Eh. Foreshadowing. 15-yard penalty. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. As I continue to repeat like a broken record, this is not meant to be a knockoff of Cinema Sins or Gaming Sins, hence why there's no Sin Counter. Reach is also a very unique game to the franchise. Having said all that, I want you to keep a close ear out for what Colonel Holland says at this point. And I need you to remember exactly what he says for the entire duration of the video. Anyone claim responsibility, sir? Only thinks it might be the local insurrection. Five months ago, they pulled a similar job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears, then stole two freighters from dry dock. That cannot happen here. Reach is too damn important. <laughs> oh, that's good. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter. Noble team's leader. That's Cat, Noble 2, Meal and George 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Carter is a dick to rookies. I have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. As the game goes on, I have to ask, where are all the other Spartan 3s? There's only a few of them here. The main advantage to the Spartan 3 program is that they were easier and cheaper to produce, making them disposable. Why aren't there entire legions of Spartans defending Reach? Noble leader, I'm seeing heat sinks in the structure ahead. On your knees, now! They're not rebels, they're farmers. Look at them. What I'd like to know is why are farmers here in the first place? Because farmers means farms, and this is a military communications installation. If you tried to pull that shit in the United States, you'd be met with a little something called eminent domain. Damn. You fill me in, Commander. What are you seeing? Over. We've got military casualties, two of the missing troopers. Looks like they were interrogated. It's messy. What the hell is that? Negative. They're almost clean. I see movement outside your structure. Noble 2, move up to the west. Damn it! Cover Contact, contact! Here we go. Dig it. About to have company. This story takes place over 500 years in the future, yet when a small task force of aliens lands on the second most important planet to humanity, it goes completely unnoticed. Keep in mind, they didn't just get here, they got here the night before. And I know what you're thinking, they knocked out the communications array, so how would anyone know? To which I tell you, how did they knock it out to begin with without going unnoticed? Once again, Oni is bad at owning anything. Evac transport, keep your distance. Six, hold position. Clear an LZ. Spartans. Corporal Travis, sir. Three Charlie. It's the Covenant. We know, Corporal. Let's get you out of here. This guy just found out that evil aliens hellbent on destroying the entire human race are now invading his world, yet he sounds more bored than terrified. The old Farragut station has its own comms array. That should bring us back online with command. Airview base has an anti-air battery that will help clear the skies. AA gun is to the west, comes arrays to the east. Let's roll. You know, I get the fact that these anti-air guns are dropship destroying machines, but at the same time, it seems like their range is fairly limited, and I would think that ships would be more effective. You know, those things that can move around and even fly, rather than being a sitting duck. Of course, that's just me. Whoa, is that a planet just with an earshot of reach? Now I looked it up in the Halo Wiki and it's actually a moon, but look at how big it is. It even has its own atmosphere and a ring system. How is it able to be that close? When worlds collide, the reach story.
Also, is there any particular reason why this is a stealth operation? I mean, the Covenant know that we're here, and they also know that we know that they're here. This should be a fiery battle, unless the UNSC is polite enough to let the Covenant spend the night. Congratulations, we now know what a UNSC and Covenant slumber party looks like. Confirm, all clear. Remember, reach is too important. That's exactly why we let this Legion of Covenant land here without facing any opposition. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC Command as a priority one target. That charge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Acquiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three, two. Can you hear me? Six, you all right? I could use some help. On my way. Whoa, wait a second. What just happened to that giant opposition force we were riding with? Did they seriously all get wiped out by just a few banshees and a couple of wraiths? Wow, yikes. New intel, Six. Looks like normal weapons won't get those AA guns. I would suggest neutralizing the interior fuel cells, Lieutenant. The statement is false. You can even destroy the AA gun with something as simple as a warthog. Don't believe me? Load up the game yourself and try it out. Get us out of here. Control, this is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound, and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC rounds? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. What the actual fuck? You mean to tell me that this thing was never detected even once? Now I get it, the spire was cloaking it, but still, it had to have gotten here somehow. It wasn't via slip space because as we find out later that dot the AI can detect slip space ruptures, which means it would have to come in manually. And I can't see how this would be possible. Look at the size of this thing. And also now that it's visible, why not use the Mac guns? You know those things we saw in the second mission of the game? Are they suddenly offline? Get your shit together, UNSC. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 uh. hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? Jude would be great at doing these kinds of videos. He's absolutely right. You keep saying how important Reach is, yet you leave the planet entirely unguarded during the height of an interstellar war. No ships, no nukes, no nothing. You know what? Soon there's going to be no humanity either. Why is the supercarrier letting the Corvette come anywhere near it? You mean to tell me that no one aboard the Corvette decided to let the supercarrier know that the humans were taking it over? Both sides are equally bad at fighting this war. Distance is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. 76 seconds to end point. So, it's gonna be like that. Well, I got good news and bad news. 
This bird took some fire and I thrust the gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. Well, maybe it wouldn't have to be if George would have simply put his helmet back on. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but slip space is basically a fast lane for outer space. Not a super splody thing. It shouldn't result in death, just teleportation to a different part of the galaxy. Even at the beginning of the mission, Kat said that it teleported half a ship to oblivion. Teleported, not destroyed. Tell him to make it count. I know that George stated that the only way off this quote-unquote slag heap was gravity, but the long night of solace is about to be destroyed. Couldn't you just radio for help at this point? But instead, Noble Six decides to let gravity allow him to plummet to the ground like an idiot. Well, that sucks. Fox Actual to UNSC Frigate Starboard Dawn. Request immediate airstrike on Covenant Corvette over Starport. This is Civilian Transport 6 Echo 2. I need to go now, Sergeant Major. Hold on, Echo 2. Starboard Dawn, I have multiple first craft loaded with civilians. I have got to get them out of the city. I need air support now. And as soon as something frees up, you'll be the first to... Not good enough. I've got 600 souls on board, Sergeant Major. I can't wait any longer. Negative, Echo 2. I can't cover you. Do not take off. because the obvious thing to do is to let all the survivors drown miserably and horribly, because it's not like the entire point of the mission so far has been to rescue and evacuate civilians. So no, go ahead, you do your thing. You know, the last new Alexandria mission made sense. They were trying to evacuate civilians, but what are they still doing here? The Covenant are in the process of glassing the entire city. And as far as we know, the only thing that's really important to the Covenant on this planet we don't want them getting their hands on is the Forerunner artifacts under Sword Base. At this point, New Alexandria is a lost cause. Pointless fighting is pointless. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. Colonel Holland hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. In the southwest quadrant of the city. Over. Sierra 259. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. 
If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles vacating the area. And they're in a hurry. How often you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million root guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That close! First glassing? Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir? We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? Covenant own it now! Which is why they want us for a torch and burn op. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. If it hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? We now interrupt Halo Reach to bring you the Halo 2 Jackal Sniper. Here to move on, Noble Six. Our Falcons are standing by. AA guns dead ahead, Lieutenant. Time to go to work, Noble Six. Take out those guns. You know, the fact that these AA guns are named after me makes me want to forgive everything that I've said about this game so far. I mean, this couldn't be more perfect. The AA gun looks like a giant dick, and the two missions in which they appear are called Tip of the Spear and The Package, reminding me of a time when my videos were filled to the brim with sexual innuendos. Well done, Bungie. Well done. What is this stuff? Knowledge. A birthright from an ancient civilization. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Chosen? By an AI? By this AI, yes. Her measure of you carries as much weight as my own, perhaps more. You are to take her to the UNSC shipbreaking yard in Azad. There you'll find a Halcyon-class cruiser waiting to get her off planet. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless we can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant. A game changer. On the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel in the 23rd. And what if we can't? An apt question, if there were somewhere else to place our hope. There is not. Take it, Lieutenant. She has made her choice. Do you have it? Yes. Say the words, please. The words, please. Mother! We can get past this, sir! No, you can't. Not without help. Commander! You don't have the firepower. I've got the map. Silent cop. Hit him on, boys. You're on your own, Noble. Turn her out. While I do realize that Carter was mortally wounded and probably wouldn't make it too much longer, he still could have stuck around at least a tad bit longer to provide additional fire support. Instead, he commits suicide on the spot. And I just want you to keep in mind that Carter was the designated team leader. It only takes a magnetic accelerator cannon that small to take out a Covenant cruiser that big.
The Covenant decide that it's a better idea to send down legions of their own troops to take out this one Spartan, rather than glass the entire area from orbit. They're already doing it to the rest of the planet, but for some reason they decide to hold off this time around. Because killing Spartans is more fun this way. And that is officially everything wrong with Halo Reach, so what is your biggest flaw that you found in the game? You can let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Twitter, at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below, and if you like this video and you want to see more, you want to keep up to date with your Halo information, click that subscribe button for more great content every single day, right here on MythicTyrant.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll catch you right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.